Hi guys, Brock Olson here. So this week I'm going to be trying to tackle a question that comes to me about three or four times a week. I've even polled some of you all just to see what your take is on the question. And that question is, who is supposed to be paying while on a date? Now, of course the default answer is the guy is supposed to pay. And where I do see the logic in this, I don't really think that that logic applies to us anymore. See, whenever men used to take women out during courting processes, it was supposed to be a very intentional thing. A guy took out one woman at a time and was supposed to be showing her himself. Supposed to be showing to the family. It was almost like a business arrangement. So the guy had a lot of responsibility. And also, when dating first came about, the man was making the majority of the money, if not all of it. But times are a little bit different now with progressive movements and women's equality, which I am a huge champion and advocate for. And with that being said, I think that that's where the cloudiness of this question comes from. So the topic of dating in general is a little bit difficult to approach because we do still hold on to some of those older traditions, those older values, but at the same time, we're trying to mash them together with a more progressive way of life and thinking. So I think that is why this question is so clouded and so difficult to answer. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving my answer as to who should be paying for a date and why. So as I said earlier, I'm a huge advocate and supporter for women's equality. And with that being said, since we live in a society that is promoting that, I feel that the burden of the financial responsibility should not fall solely on the man. But I am also a firm believer that whoever initiates a date is supposed to assume that financial responsibility. So if a guy goes up to a woman and says, I'd like to take you out to eat, take you to a movie, you know, he should automatically assume that responsibility. I have no question there. But I also think that if you say yes, that you should offer to pay your half. Now, typically a guy is going to say, absolutely not. You're not paying for your meal. I'm taking you out. And those are gentlemen. But ladies, there's another aspect to going out on a date with somebody. I personally believe that if you go out to eat or you go see a movie or a concert, that you shouldn't just go there and expect him to pay for everything. That if he's going to buy the tickets or if he's going to you know, buy your dinner, you should ask what the total is at dinner and offer to pay the tip. Or you should buy beverages when you go to a concert or popcorn at a movie. This shows that you're not there just for a free ride, that you're not taking advantage of him. And he's really going to appreciate the fact that you're willing to invest into that moment with him. Now, ladies, this also goes the other way. If there's something that you want to do, if you want to go to a concert or you're wanting to go to a new restaurant and it's your idea, you want to ask a guy, you're the one assuming that financial responsibility. That's just how I believe it should work. Now, ladies, I'm not calling anybody out, but I know that you're aware that there are people that abuse the dating system that will hit up a guy that's hopeful and just try to get a free meal or a free event out of somebody. Ladies, I was actually dating somebody for about two months, and during that time, I would take them out to eat, we would go do fun things, and about two months in, I got a text that said, food? Question mark. And all of a sudden the light bulb went on and I was so upset that this person was actually using me for free meals and free entertainment. I hadn't actually asked them to ever pay for anything. And they became so used to me doing that that they didn't think they needed to contribute. I'm saying this because guys appreciate it so much whenever you offer to contribute to an event or an evening or time together. So ladies, to show that you're invested, just pay for little bits here and there or at least offer to. Addressing this topic of who should be paying for dates is probably one of the most controversial I've had to do. And I know it's not terribly risque, but there are so many people that this topic really ruffles some feathers with. And I know I probably did that today. Again, these are my opinions and they come from somebody who is of the mindset that women deserve equality, that men should still be gentlemen, that chivalry is still alive. And 
I'm okay with that. And this isn't the easiest thing to think about and to practice. So whatever works for you, use that. If what I've said doesn't work for your dynamic, that's fine. Not everything that I say is gonna work for you, but I hope you got some value from my message today. If you have any questions or comments, leave it in the section below, and I'll see you all next week.